Hi, I promised to read my book during March's reading month, and I'm here to do it. I've written two books, and my first book was Trying My Best with Joy, Conversations with Grandma. It's kind of glaring on there a little bit. And my second book is Little Beaver Learns That He Is Special Too. I'm going to try to read this for you, and hopefully you'll be able to see the pictures quite well. And if you like it, it's available on Amazon, or you can contact me and I can send you a copy. This is about a little beaver that's trying to make friends, and he gets very discouraged, and he learns something in the end of the story, finding out that he is special too. And although that we're all different, we're all very special. I hope you're... I hope you like the book. I've read the book to a few of the classes at Alcona, and there are a lot of children who haven't heard the book, so I'm going to share it with you. Um, when I get to the end, if you want information on getting your own book out there that you have written and illustrated or written whatever, I can share information with you on that if you would like to contact me. But for now, let's read the book that I wrote and I illustrated and would love to share with you. Little Beaver learns that he is special too. I'm hoping you can see the pictures. It's kind of clear in a little bit. Little Beaver lived in the woods with many other animals. He loved to play, explore, and have fun. Sometimes he didn't want to play alone. He wanted to have friends to play with and other and play with the other young animals. He continued exploring and saw Fawn. Little Beaver asked Fawn, would you like to play? The young deer said, yes, come play tag with me. Fawn happily leaped over fallen trees and stumps. He reared and bucked, excited to play. Little Beaver tried to keep up, but struggled as he crawled over a tree in his way. Fawn laughed and said, you are too short and slow. You will never keep up. Your teeth are as big as your legs. Little Beaver was discouraged, embarrassed, and lonely. He decided to go where Fawn could not see him. Fawn told Little Beaver he was sorry. Little Beaver was glad, Fawn apologized, but wondered if he really was short, slow, and had big teeth. Little Beaver then saw Bunny. Bunny was short. Maybe Bunny would like to play. Little Beaver asked Bunny to play and was very happy when Bunny said yes. Immediately, Bunny hopped, over, hopped very high over a log and yelled for Little Beaver to catch him. Little Beaver tried to keep up, but once again, didn't come close to keeping up. Bunny laughed at Little Beaver and said, You are too slow. You can't jump, and what do you do with your big teeth? Bunny continued, I use mine for carrots, but you have bigger teeth than me. Little Beaver didn't know why his teeth were so big. He didn't want a carrot, and he decided he didn't want to play with Bunny. Sadly, Little Beaver continued on looking for an animal with smaller legs. Little Beaver then saw Little Eagle. Little Eagle had thin legs that didn't look very fast. Little Beaver asked Little Eagle if he would like to play. Little Eagle was happy to. Little Eagle jumped and flew to a high tree. Little Beaver just looked up. He couldn't believe that Little Eagle was higher than Fawn and Bunny. Little Eagle laughed and said, You would never catch me. Little Eagle told Little Beaver, You have short legs and you need wings like I have. Little Eagle had a beak and couldn't imagine trying to eat with those big teeth in the way. Little Beaver felt so alone. He didn't understand why all the animals were so fast and could go so high. He couldn't do anything. No one would ever want to play with him. He then saw a little squirrel sitting with an acorn. Little squirrel was small and couldn't fly. Maybe they could play. Little squirrel said he would love to play. 
Little squirrel ran up a tree, chattering away. He laughed as little beaver sat at the bottom of the tree looking up at him. Little squirrel started chasing another squirrel. They both ran up and down the trees, jumping from tree branch to, to, to tree branch. Little beaver sadly walked away. As he got close to the river, he heard a loud commotion. All the young animals were running for the river. They yelled to little beaver, run, there's a fire and we have to cross the river. All the animals got to the river and could see their parents on the other side. Their parents were yelling for them to come over to safety. And the river had, but the river had a fast current and they were afraid to go. Even Little Eagle was afraid. Little Eagle had just learned to fly. He, had, he was afraid that he would fall in the strong current and drown. They all gathered at the edge of the river in terror as the fire came closer. Quickly, Little Beaver started chewing down tall trees near the river bank. The trees fell over the river, hitting the other side. They made a bridge over the raging current. Little Beaver told the little animals to run on top of the fallen trees. He told them that the current couldn't reach them up there and they would be safe. All the young animals rushed across the bridge that Little Beaver made. Little Beaver hurried over when he saw that everyone was safe on the other side. Little Beaver then found his mother and wanted to go home. Little Beaver was happy that all the animals were safe, but he was still sad that he didn't have any friends. Poor Little Beaver. As Little Beaver talked to his mother, he heard what sounded like his name being yelled. It sounded like the animals were shouting to him. He turned around. He couldn't believe it. They were yelling, yay for Little Beaver. Little Beaver saved all the young animals from the fire. Yay for Little Beaver. Little Beaver stood in awe with his eyes wide. Slowly a grin came across his face. All the animals thought he was a hero and wanted to be friends. From that day on, all the animals were kind to each other. They never teased each other again for being different. All the animals learned a very important lesson that day. They learned that each animal is very special in its own way. All the young animals had special things that they could do. And of course, we all know the very special thing that little beaver could do. Be strong, be confident, be you. I hope you liked the story. Little beaver learned a pretty important lesson that day. And I hope you go away learning and remembering that when you're discouraged and there's other children or situations that you just aren't good at, they, they make you feel bad. There are special things you can do too. And the most important thing to remember is be strong, be confident, and be you. If you want a copy of this book, you can, you can contact me and I'll sign it, or if you can get it off Amazon, free shipping, and I'll still sign it if I can get together with you. And if anybody out there wants information on getting their own book published, contact me. I've put a lot of time into researching it and how to get your book published without spending a ton of money and no use in you putting all that time in too. If you want to contact me, I'll be glad to share the information with you. You have a good day and you stay healthy. Thanks.